parties. So as a lot of you already know by now, if you know me, I love Pokemon. And today is their 25th anniversary. And a couple hours ago, they released a live stream of some games that will be released. And here are a couple trailers of some of my favorite games that I've ever played. Remade. Alright, so now it's my turn to kind of give my little point of view of what I'm seeing. For the past couple of years, Pokemon have done some fantastic things like make, you know, Sword and Shield and uh, a lot of other like uh, app related Pokemon games as well too. And, uh, and I'm, I must say they, they've made a lot of money off of it obviously. But let me tell you about this game in particular, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were the very first games that I've ever played like uh, on the DS as well but this was actually the very first Pokemon game that I just you know ever played so to see them you know remake this uh, this spectacular game you know it it really caught me off guard at first because I was like highly surprised but at the same time I wasn't because I had a feeling that they'd be making you know some type of remake of this game eventually and uh, when I first saw this trailer this morning, I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then this kind of hit. I mean, like, in terms of graphics, l l look at this. I, like, when I first saw this specific clip, I was just like, alright, this is an Animal Crossing game. Like, just look at how undetailed and just not very textured it looks like it does remind me a lot of like you know how let's go Pikachu and Eevee were made you know like just look at the battle style I mean of course a lot of different changes obviously but just like of how uh, just it's really one of those things where I just feel like they really did not take that much time and effort into making this game I mean I was kind of expecting like oh my goodness like this is just gonna be like sword and shields platform but like you know just about the same kind of but no they kind of just went back to like let's go Pikachu and Eevee and this is just what they kind of came up with <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong like it looks cool but yeah okay so I didn't mean to sound that harsh but as far as cons go, that, that's about the only thing I'm going to say. Because this is still just the trailer. And this is just what we're looking at based off, you know, what we saw this morning. But, in terms of pros, you know, like I said, this is my favorite game that I ever played. And, and I thought it was just, you know, a great start to, you know, getting into Pokemon. Especially when I had a DS at the time, and this was the first Pokemon DS game, really. So... There are lots of favorite Pokemon that I have from this region. You know, my favorite gym battles, my favorite legendaries, and Easter eggs, and so forth. So, other questions that, you know, roaming through my head during this, you know, 
during this trailer was, you know, are they going to bring back things like uh, Mega Evolution? You know, are they going to do uh, like Z moves and all that stuff? You know, but of course, I highly doubt it because you know it's not the Alola region, and I feel like after Sword and Shield, they were kind of moved past that whole Mega Evolution phase. But who knows? They might bring it back into this, but. I also feel as though that they're just going to kind of keep it as, you know, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. It's just a basic remake, but just little added stuff. Now, they're also going to add, um, or at least I think they're going to add Arceus, like, um, episode, like, after this. It's basically the same thing what they did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, adding instead of a Delta, like, a, it's a Delta episode, but just after um, Ruby and Sapphire. So I've already gone on a couple websites and I've already seen some reviews of the trailer and people are not that happy like their comments like oh my goodness like this looks like a very someone said a cliggy like whatever the f whatever the hell that means <laughs> and then they were like you know this just doesn't look very well detailed like I had said but you know this is just the trailer and I'm excited for this game because I love this game and I'm ready to go back and feel this nostalgic moment. So let's go on to the next game. This is a tale from a long, long time ago, when the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people, while in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Okay, at first I was skeptical about this trailer. This is this game is called Pokemon Legends Arceus. I never thought they would actually make a game about Arceus. Of course, they had, you know, an episode with him at the end of Platinum, I think, and Diamond and Pearl. That that was a point that I never got to, honestly. But um So this is kind of a throwback of Sinnoh. Not necessarily a throwback, but a long, 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 long time ago, um, of the region Sinnoh. And this scene right here, I was just like, what? Like, this looks so damn cool. Like, this is, um, Breath of the Wild if it had a child with Pokemon, literally. And this is so dang cool. The characters, you know, they're the same. Like, they're Dawn and uh, whatever the guy's name is. And look at that. You have your own custom, like, flip move or just you have like a whole bunch of other moves that you can do with your character and you can get into the grass throw the pokeball and of course you can uh, there's different fighting scenes and like I just don't know how to describe this like this just looks so cool like for once Pokemon decided that you you can have your character like interact more with the world now and so obviously based off of this trailer you're just more out in the wild 
you know. And then this part right here, I was confused about. Like, they just put in a whole bunch of different starters and just kind of put them in this jar and just said, okay, we're just going to pick three random ones. And they just somehow chose Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott. But of course, I'm sure there's a particular meaning behind it, obviously. But, I mean, I don't know. I'll have to look more into it. And then, of course, this scene right here with Arceus, you know, as it stated, you know, what does Arceus have to do with the Sinnoh region? And, of course, this is the god itself. And so then this right here, I was just like, okay, they're making a game literally about Arceus. So, based off of this trailer, I was pretty satisfied, not gonna lie. I'm pretty prepared for this game. So, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying this. I'm excited for these two games, just because, like I said, it is nostalgic. And I'm not gonna repeat what I'm gonna say again, but... But I'm really excited for what this game is going to bring, what we're going to go towards. There's going to be lots of new things that are going to be added. A lot of just plain remade nostalgic moments. So I'm excited for the gym battles, the Pokemon. Maybe, maybe some of the newer Pokemon will be in this game. And then in terms of Legends Arceus, I'm excited for that too. Just a freer world, just like they have with, you know, Legend of Zelda, of course, and just the vast movement, the abilities that your character can do, and all types of other things. But I can't wait to look more into this, and maybe another review here pretty soon on a later trailer. I don't know. But as of right now, I'm excited, guys, and I hope you guys are too. Drop that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.